This is Korea News for February 24, 2022. Regarding the short track bias judgment at the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics, Chinese state media directly criticized Yu Jae Suk, a broadcaster who said he was angry. On the 23rd, the Global Times, the English version of the state run Global Times, published an article titled, Korean celebrities should help alleviate negative feelings between China and Korea, rather than pouring oil on the fire. After mentioning that Yu Jae Suk is the best comedian and broadcaster in Korea who has a lot of fans in China, he said, but he said he was angry with the biased judgment immediately after the short track race at the Beijing Olympics. He shouldn't have said anything that could intensify the conflict between the peoples of the two countries, he said. Yu Jae Suk's Chinese fan club announced that he could not walk in the same direction and that his activities were suspended. Many Chinese fans pointed out to Yu Jae Suk that he shouldn't make problematic remarks unless he knows the full truth, he added. He also pointed out, what Yu Jae Suk should do is not to add oil to the fire and ignite another public opinion, but to lead reasonable public opinion and urge healthy exchanges between the Chinese and Korean people. The People's Daily's sister magazine, The Global Times, fanned public opinion yesterday, not today. The Global Times is a state-run media that provoked hatred in both Korea and China by accusing BTS of winning awards in the past. After receiving the Van Fleet Award from the Korea Society, an American non-profit organization, in July 2020, BTS said, this year is the 70th anniversary of the Korean War. He said the history of hardships our two countries went through together and the sacrifices made by many men and women should be remembered forever. Afterwards, the Global Times pointed out the sentiment as political remarks, and fueled criticism in China. The Global Times, which delivers international news with aggressive and provocative expressions, is a media that is actively used in the CCP's foreign public relations strategy. When the entire Korean peninsula was in chaos due to the controversy over the deployment of USFK THAAD, the media, which played a leading role in raising hatred and anti-Korean sentiment in China, also looked around. Democratic Party presidential candidate Lee Jae Myung and People's Strength presidential candidate Yoon Suk Yeol are fighting for approval ratings two weeks before the presidential election on the 23rd. According to a regular poll by Gallup Korea and Money Today released on the 23rd, in the multilateral contest for the presidential candidates, Yoon received 39.0% and Lee Jae Myung 38.3%. Compared to the survey two weeks ago, the second week of February, candidate Lee Jae Myung rose by 1.4 percentage points and candidate Yoon Sook Yeol decreased by 1.1 percentage points. It was followed by AHN Jae Olsu, the presidential candidate of the People's Party, 9.5%, and Shim Sang Jong, the presidential candidate of the Justice Party, 3.0%. The conflict between the People's Power and the People's Party ignited after AHN Jae Olsu, the presidential candidate of the People's Party, declared a breakdown in the unification of the opposition, and the conflict escalated into a war of revelation. When People's Power representative Lee Jun Sok said that there were traitors around candidate AHN, Lee Taejiu, general election director of the People's Party, said earlier this month that party leader Lee Jun Sok had proposed a merger between the two parties on the premise that candidate AHN Jae Olsu resigned. The election head of the People's Party also revealed that Lee Jun Sok, the leader of the People's Power, gave personal advice to Yoon's aides to be careful. There is also an interpretation that the action of the head of the National People's Party's election countermeasures headquarters was a precipitous warfare of revelation in order to induce Yoon's active movement. Within the People's Power election countermeasures headquarters, there is a continuing expectation that candidate Yoon will personally visit candidate AHN and try to persuade him for the last time. As Democratic Party candidate Lee Jae Myung actively courts candidate AHN, there are concerns that a Ban Yoon Sok Yeol solidarity rather than a Ban Moon Jae in solidarity may be formed. After AHN Jae Olsu, the presidential candidate of the People's Party, declared that the unification of the opposition candidates was broken, he is raising the level of offensive against Yoon Sok Yeol, the presidential candidate for the People's Power. Candidate AHN said at a rally in Ulsan on the 23rd, the president must have a head to select experts who know well from among experts, and he said that a president without such a head would ruin the country. He said, in the old days, there was a story about whether the president needs to know everything or if he should borrow someone else's head, but it's from the 1970s and 1980s, he said. He explained that it is possible to select a proper expert and use that person's head, but if a person who doesn't know any of these things becomes president, he or she will choose the wrong person and the country will proceed in the wrong way. He continued, there are many people who don't want nothing to change after a change of government, but as if under some kind of magic, that if there is a change in government, Everything will be okay. Did.
Meanwhile, Democratic Party presidential candidate Lee Jae Myung is devising a plan to institutionalize the responsible prime minister system and multi party system guarantee as a card against the theory of regime change. This is to promote political reform solidarity with the other opposition parties except People's Power, taking advantage of AHN Chae Ol Su's declaration of the breakdown of unification with People's Power candidate Yoon Suk Yeol. If it had previously suggested the possibility of solidarity, this time he sent a love call head on suggesting concrete political reform plans. The Democratic Party also decided to propose a Responsible Prime Minister Act that guarantees the Prime Minister's substantive authority. In addition, when the President fires the Prime Minister, it was decided to establish a procedure for consultation with the National Assembly. It contains the idea of systematically supporting a unified government with the opposition while removing the power of the imperial presidential system. The Democratic Party decided to push for constitutional amendment to the four-year term, including the introduction of a runoff voting system. The runoff voting system is a political reform proposal that Justice Party candidates Shim Sang-yung and A.H.N. Ol Su have been demanding. The court also suspended the effectiveness of the quarantine pass in Daegu. The court has suspended the effectiveness of the quarantine pass for under 60 years old and the quarantine pass for teenagers at cafes and restaurants in Daegu. In response, the government is in a position to review the appeal, centering on the city of Daegu. On the 23rd, the Daegu District Court cited some of the plaintiff's applications in a lawsuit for suspension of execution filed by 309 people, including Professor Jo Du Hyung of Yung Nam University Medical School, against the mayor of Daegu. With this decision of the court, the effectiveness of the quarantine pass partially cited will be suspended until the 30th day from the date of the verdict of the litigation to cancel the quarantine pass disposition, which is the main issue. In January, the youth quarantine pass was suspended in Seoul and the effectiveness of the youth quarantine pass was also suspended in Jiayongi, Incheon, Daejeon, and Busan. The court judged that there is an increasing number of views that question the effectiveness of the quarantine pass, and there is confusion in the confirmation process of the quarantine pass, so the question of whether this method of limiting basic rights is useful can be considered. He continued, there is an aspect that the quarantine pass is suitable for public interest purposes and means but it is difficult to recover if the degree of restriction on basic rights such as freedom of daily actions and the right to pursue happiness of unvaccinated people reaches a level that infringes on essential areas. Could be seen to occur, he added. The Republic of Korea, which has a fertility rate of 0.81 and a population of 57,000, will disappear due to natural decline. Last year, the total fertility rate was 0.81, a new record low. To encourage the sharp decline in fertility, the government invested a total of 380.2 trillion won in the budget for the low fertility response from 2006 to 2020, but with little success. On the other hand, the number of deaths is at an all-time high, and the population has declined by nearly 60,000 over the past year. According to the 2021 Population Trend Survey Birth and Death Statistics released by the National Statistical Office on the 23rd, the total fertility rate last year was 0.81, down 0.03 from the previous year. 0.84, a new record low. Although the fertility rate barely maintained the 0.8 range, there is no sign of a rebound in the fertility rate. While the fertility rate and number of births were at record lows, the number of deaths during the same period reached 307,800, a record high. The problem is that this trend of population decline is expected to become steeper in the future. The Deputy Prime Minister for Economy said on the 24th, Liquefied petroleum gas and compressed natural gas vehicles will be excluded from low emission vehicles from 2024 and hybrid vehicles will be excluded from 2025 or 2026. He said that he would reorganize tax support to focus on electric and hydrogen vehicles. He also mentioned plans to expand the infrastructure to support the commercialization of autonomous driving. In the case of autonomous vehicles, to support the launch of Level 3 this year and the commercialization of Level 4 in 2027 without any setback we will pilot a next-generation intelligent transportation system with a length of 2,400 km by 2023, and 3D precision maps for 14,000 km of general national roads. He said, we will designate at least one district for each city and province for the current seven autonomous vehicle pilot operation zones. Samsung Electronics Galaxy S22 series set a record for the first day of pre-launch. The pre-sales held for the previous eight days also achieved the highest number. Samsung Electronics announced on the 23rd that the opening performance of the Galaxy S22, which started opening on the 22nd for pre-orders, exceeded 300,000 units on the first day, breaking the company's record high. 
Among the three models of the Galaxy S22 series Normal, Plus, and Ultra, the Ultra model with a built-in S Pen accounted for 60% of the total pre-sales. In particular, the proportion of Galaxy S22 Ultra purchases among existing Galaxy Note users was high. At the same time, the pre-sale for 8 days from the 14th to about 1.2 million units was counted, breaking the highest among all-time S series. The previous record was 1004,000 units of the Galaxy S8 released in 2017. Thank you for watching today. Please like and subscribe.